blood centers have to do more than make sure hospitals have enough blood. We have to make sure they have enough of each component in each blood group. We inherit our blood group from our parents. It's either A, B, AB, or O. And it may be RH positive or RH negative. The good news is some blood groups are compatible with multiple blood types, but others are not. For example, patients with group ORH negative blood can receive only O negative blood. Giving them A, B, A, B, or even O positive could be very dangerous. However, O negative blood is considered the universal blood group. It can be given to patients with any blood type in an emergency. AB positive blood, on the other hand, can be given only to AB positive patients. Interestingly enough, AB positive patients can receive any of the other blood groups in an emergency. So how do we make sure we collect the right amount of each blood group? After all, it's not like we can call someone and order it, or can we? At well-established blood drives, the coordinator and committee members do recruit by blood group. We give them a roster from previous blood drives. It lists donor names, phone numbers, and blood groups. Good evening, uh, is this Leslie? And if we've ever called you at home to come donate at the blood center, it was because there was a need for your specific blood group. We can organize our donor call list by blood group. Blood centers are stewards of the community's blood supply, providing the link between the donor and the recipient. Hospitals place orders for blood, and it is the blood center's job to fill those orders 100% of the time. Blood centers work closely with the hospitals they serve to determine how much blood they need to have on hand. Since the beginning of blood banking, blood centers have shared their excess supply with other communities. This is because some parts of the country don't collect enough blood to meet their own needs, or there may be a crisis situation that requires extra help. This is called resource sharing, and it helps assure that each blood donation is used to help a patient in need. Most blood centers take part in resource sharing once they've met local needs. And from time to time, if we need more blood, we can call on our sister centers throughout the country to share their resources with us. The community blood supply is there for all of us. You can help make sure it's safe, adequate, and ready when patients need it by sponsoring a blood drive volunteering to organize it, helping out the day of the drive, recruiting donors, even rolling up your own sleeve. It's just one more way to make a difference in your community.